Today we're going to be looking at the MoCo wireless magnetic charging pencil for an iPad or an iPad Pro. Now this will work on any iPad or iPad Pro that could take the second generation Apple Pencil, such as the third generation 12.9 inch iPad Pro that I've got here. So let's unbox it, take a look, and we're going to test it out on my iPad Pro. So it's nicely packaged, and we've got the middle section just pops straight out, giving us the actual pencil itself. It looks exactly like the Apple second generation pencil. So you've got the same flat line where you will obviously stick it to your iPads. We've even got a spare tip in the box. That's a nice little feature there. So if you do damage your tip, you have another one just under the sticker there. There we go. Oh, plus another two in the back. So that's three spare tips. That's really handy. And then lastly, we've got our instruction manual. So before I start testing this, I want to just show you up against the Apple second generation pencil. And you can see, if you put them side by side, you'd really struggle to tell the difference between them. There's a very slight variance in color, which you'd only notice if they were side by side. Other than that, they look the same. Weight-wise, they feel about the same. So other than the fact that this has got the Apple Pencil logo at the top there, you hardly notice the difference between the two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually attach it to my iPad Pro, and we're going to test it. So I'm just pairing this for the first time in Bluetooth. You can see we're now connected. So this is my XG Pencil from Moco. So now that I've got the pen actually connected to the iPads, we've got the same magnetic attachment to the iPads, which will then charge the pencil, just like the second generation Apple Pencil. And the great thing with this model is you've got a little charging light to indicate that it is being charged. But not only do we get a charging light, but it also gives you the percentage that it's charged when you pull it away from the iPad, so you know how much charge this actual device has got. And that's a feature that even the Apple Pencil doesn't have. So let's just fire up a sketching app and we're gonna test the pencil out. So as we can see, it works perfectly. Tilt is also working. Pressure sensitivity is working. It's just like an Apple Pencil for a fraction of the cost. Now the battery life on this stylus is about five hours from fully charged right the way down to zero. And if you place it back on your iPad Pro, it takes two and a half hours to charge from zero back up to full. But let's be honest, most of the time we've always got these pens sitting on the top of the iPads, keeping it topped up constantly. Now if you leave the pen sitting on your desk for more than five minutes, it will automatically put itself into sleep to save you some battery. And when you do wake it from sleep, it will wake itself up within about three seconds and you're back to drawing. So overall, I've got to say, this is an absolutely fantastic stylus for the iPad Pros or the more modern iPad Airs that replaces an Apple Generation 2 pencil for a fraction of the cost. This certainly is well worth a buy. So if you've got any questions about this pencil, put it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.